What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Werner poster that I promised you guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. I'm going to be covering a lot of different techniques and different samples of artwork used in this. So I'm going to leave an assets panel for you guys to follow along. Uh, the link is going to be in the description below so you can just download it and then you'll have all the assets and you can follow along with what I'm doing. So I'm going to put it on the screen now. This is what we're going to be doing. I think it looks pretty good myself. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll try and make it as quick as possible so it doesn't waste your time but let's get straight into the video. Right guys, welcome back. Right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your blue rectangle on the bottom of the screen. So if you go to your rectangle tool and then you just wanna select a blue like so. Um, I'll show you the hex code now. If you just wanna drag it over the top like so to make sure it covers the whole thing. Now, if I just go to the colors, I'll show you the hex code. So it's 00C8FF. So that's what you need for your background color. The next thing we're gonna do is add some background text. So what you need to do is get your text tool and get a font called Muro, which I'll leave a link in the description below, and change your font size to about 47. So if I do that, and then what you're gonna do is lock your blue background and zoom in um, like so. And now we're just gonna type Muro, uh, not Muro, sorry, Werner. Have it all in caps if you want. If not, don't have it all in caps. Uh, change it to white like so. And then what you're gonna do is just put it wherever you want and then you're just gonna rotate it about 10 degrees like so and then just so it's like that. And now we're gonna zoom out and now we're just gonna duplicate this layer. Once we've positioned it where we want it, just gonna hold Alt and just start duplicating it. Now you wanna off center it just so it doesn't look too, but you can have it wherever you want in the page. So I'm just gonna have it about there and then I'm just gonna keep placing them. Now you need to keep copying and pasting them so it looks like it's a continuous, a continuous pattern on the background, so like so. This looks pretty good to me. So once you've done that, you're just gonna wanna group all of the, these together. So I'm just gonna quickly add a few more in the bottom here. So that's our background done. So what I'm gonna do now is select the top one and then select the bottom one and then just click the group. So that's the background tech. So that's that done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a gradient fill over the top. So this is gonna be pretty simple, uh, not gonna take too long and I'll get straight to it now. Right, so first, before I add the bevel, uh, the uh, gradient fill, I'm just gonna add a drop shadow onto these like so, just to make it look a bit more 3D. And now we're gonna add this gradient fill. So go to your adjustment layers and then you're gonna to wanna to go to gradient map at the bottom. So it's already got the thing selected. So if I go down to the bottom and select this one, so this is one you're gonna need. So if you wanna okay that and then change this to soft light. Now you won't be able to see it at the moment because I've got to add something more in. So if you create a new layer below the gradient fill, uh, actually make sure you change your color first, make sure it's black and white, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to render uh, clouds. That's good. So it's already working, the gradient fill is working on it. So if I double click on filter and then liquify, so we've done this before in previous videos and you just wanna mess it all up just so it looks like a bit of um, marbling done. And then you can just stretch it all out like so. Now if you wanna make it easier for yourself, you can make this brush a little bit smaller and then you can just add bits in like so, like I'm doing now. And that makes it just a bit more complete. So if I just okay that, there you go, that's the background. So now what we're gonna do, well we've got the background, so all we need to do now is probably move on to the particles effect. So I'll get right onto that. Right, so I've got my particles. Now what I'm gonna do is probably go to motion blur. So if you go to filter, blur, and then you're gonna go to motion blur, like so. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that it's looking quite, I don't know the word specifically, but you wanna make sure it looks quite spun up like that. And you're just gonna click okay. And then we're gonna overlay this, I think, just to make sure that it doesn't look too overpowering on the design. You can have it however you want, really. Or you can use subtract, like so. So the next one I'm gonna move on to is the shapes. Now, I'm gonna leave these in the assets layer below, so you can just download the assets and then drag the shapes in, because they're quite tedious to make, and I'll make another video explaining that in the future. Right, so I've dropped the shapes in, so this is how you're gonna to need to get them to look. So they've already got all the layer styles added to them, so you've got a bevel emboss, and you've got a drop shadow on them, just so they look like they're on top of the design. So that's all that done. Next thing we're gonna do is add a hues and saturation above the clouds layer. So I'm gonna name this clouds. And then if you get your saturation layer and you're just gonna to wanna to push the saturation up to about 44, just so it makes it look a bit brighter. The next thing we're gonna do is probably move on to getting the blue spot in the middle and we need to add some paint effects on the edges just so it breaks up the text well the text as well as the um as well as the design so let's move on to that all right guys just a quick update i've seen that a lot of you aren't subscribed who are watching the video so i'm just going to put a little thing on the screen now which will show you the percentage i'm not making you subscribe but if you are enjoying the videos then it really 
really help me out if you could subscribe and just show a bit of love to the channel because I'm trying to reach that 1,000 mark so I can start uh, improving my videos for you guys and start um, uh, start being able to create more videos and helping you out more. So if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, just take a bit of time out your day and just subscribe and it just gives me that extra push, you know, to, to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. Right, welcome back, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is change this to multiply first just so I didn't realize that I forgot to do that. You need to change it to multiply so you can see the text in the background so that that works nicely so the next thing we're going to do is add this blue spot so if you create a new layer get a paintbrush tool soft paintbrush as big as you want so probably quite big about that big select your blue color and then just just do a big spot in the middle so that's where Werner is going to be he placed above it so it'll just make him stand out a bit more and then we're going to change that to screen the last thing we're going to need to do is add some paint around the edges add Werner into the middle and then add some text onto this yellow shape and then it'll be pretty much done so if I get Werner and I'll drop him into the image and I'll be right back. Right, so there we go. Werner is dropped into the image. Now the next thing we're going to do is get some uh, text and we're going to overlay this over the top. So I'm going to drag this from the last image I used and then you guys can get it from the uh, the assets panel. So if I go up now and I just get this image and I just drag it across and drop it in. Now it's going to look a bit silly. So if I go down to the text layer here and just clipping mask it to it, there you go. That's all done. Now you can overlay this and then the text shapes you can overlay or you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, I think they look pretty good like that. So that's good. Now the last thing we're going to do is probably add some texture and then we're going to add the paint around the edges, which I said we're going to do earlier. So I'll leave those in the assets as well. So let's get on with that. Right guys, welcome back. So I've added the paint texture in so I'm just gonna make this a bit bit smaller just so you can see it a bit better like so zoom out if you need to it's gonna be in the assets panel down below so you you'll all have these these particles so if I just make it a little bit smaller and obviously you can change the um, opacity if you don't like it so much so I'm going to reduce it to about 80% like so that looks good now the last thing we're going to do is probably add in the texture over the top it's going to be the same texture as we always use um, and we're going to add a hue saturation above this whole thing just to make it a little bit brighter so let's get straight on with that so the textures you're going to want to use is 10 and the paper so I'm just going to select both drag them over and then I'll tell you what uh, layer styles I've used just so they look correct for you guys um, we want to make sure these are at the top as well so the texture is on subtract just to make it a bit more gritty so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger as well and then the paper is on multiply both on 100% opacity and both on 100% fill so that that is the base of this design so the next thing we're gonna to need to do is probably add in um, do the camera raw filter just so it looks a bit more complete and it actually brings the design to life uh, we can add a hue saturation above the shapes layer if we want to or above the spot here so I'm just going to go to adjustments and then hue saturation and then we're just going to increase the saturation to about 45 again like so that looks good now I can if you want if you can't see the background as well you can increase this a bit more too to about 50 that will look good. So next we're going to just group it all together. So if you unlock all your background layers, select the bottom one, then Command J, Command E, perfect. And now what we need to do is select just this layer, select that and then cut it out. There we are cut. Now you've got the design cut out. Now what we're going to do is go into the camera or filter section of the video. So you can do this yourself. I'm just going to speed this part of the video up and then we'll come back with the final result. And there we go guys, that's the poster design done. So I think it's pretty close to the original, maybe a little bit darker, but I think it looks real good. So if you've followed along with this tutorial, you should have the same outcome as I have. So if you have, let me know in the comments, let me know what you thought of the video, and I'll get straight back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna make a few more of these videos in the future, so leave in the comments which person you want next, and I'll make the video on them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.